Hey everybody, it's Carrie the Paper Monkey. Thank you so much for dropping in. We're going to jump right into this uh, and I'll let you know that this is the very first product that I'm selling. Yep. I, um, I wanted to put a kit together with the me in mind. The me of a year ago. Whenever I was a beginner and I went down the rabbit hole of junk journaling, I kept thinking to myself, <laughs> as I'm watching all these people create all these wonderful, wonderful, uh, beautiful, extraordinary journals, I just kept thinking, where are they getting this stuff from? Where, where do they get this stuff from? Now, I had been a thrifter. You know, I'd been in and out of thrift stores my entire life, my entire life. And so that wasn't new to me, but all of these things, you know. So with that in mind, whenever I decided to start selling, I said, I want the very first product that I sell to be something for the beginner in mind, because I was that person that sat there and wanted so badly to just start. And I didn't know that you could just shop your stash. You know, I didn't understand that that day. I, I just, I just remember from that, from the very first video that I saw Rebecca Hoot do a composition notebook junk journal, I was hooked. I was hooked. I, I wanted to do it immediately. I wanted to run to the Dollar Tree immediately and buy all the supplies, and I did. And consequently, what happened was, I will tell you, I just wound up with a mountain of stuff and some stuff I didn't need, right? So, I said, whenever I started thinking about selling, um, I thought, you know, it would just be so gratifying to put together something for the me of back then, something that had everything with it, almost everything. And that way that person could buy the kit. And if they didn't like it, they didn't have to invest anything else. So that's what I did. I took these beautiful, beautiful vintage Reader's Digest condensed versions, booklets, and I cut them down. I cut out the spine so it's easy peasy, okay? I did this, and you'll see why in a minute, so that you would have the freedom to put pages in, take pages out, do the pages the way that you want to. These beautiful gold binder rings, I cut all the holes in all the book pages. I used a variety of book pages. In fact, I have a whole entire list of everything that comes in this package. It's going to be listed in the description below, but I'm going to look over here at my cheat sheet and tell you that there are, how many pages? 41, 41 pages, a variety of of pages, okay? Some cards, uh, paper pad, some old vintage book pages, some children's book illustrations, a file folder. This is from a reader. Uh, just some interesting images from pages. I love the color of this paper. This is from the Granny Sheet book. This is a Scantron. Just different pages. This is from an Ideals magazine. I really tried to think back to whenever I was a beginner and I saw all these beautiful book pages that people were using I and how thrilling it was to see them I wanted to put together a collection of those type of items. The feel of pages are so different in here, too. This is from a 1950 children's book, and the page is thicker than the cardstock I'm buying or the paper pads that I'm buying at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, this is a uh, packaging. Look, and the illustrations here from a 19, I think this is a 1960s um, high school yearbook some schematics, coffee dyed paper that I put on coffee dyed paper. So 
You can see I tried my very best to just get a variety in here. Now, like I said, there's 41 book pages. If I run across some other pages, I'm going to cut them down. I'll add to them. There will be at least 41. There may be a couple of more that get added along the way. Okay, in the very front, I want to point this out. I gave you a little library card. I did not decorate this. I did not stamp it. I did not decorate it. I'm leaving that for you. This is your journal to do with what you want. This, I will show you, can be this very first page is actually, it's, it's uh, two... And these are easy. Yeah, it's just the way I'm doing them. Um, dual purpose, okay? This is hard. This is like a writing board, okay? But it also can be used as your template if you want to add anything into the book. All you will need is a hole punch. Just a handheld, very simple hole punch, okay? So that would be one tool that you would need. I'm not providing that. You'll also need some kind of adhesive, whether it's stick glue or art glitter glue, Fabri-Tac. You'll need an adhesive. You'll need a pair of scissors, you know, if you want to cut things down. But you can take all of these pages are removable. You can take them out. You can move them around. And you can add to it, okay? So, there is the book in and of itself, all right? Now, I took, there's some card stock or some paper pad in here. I made sure to add some coordinating pieces of, of card stock, okay? Then I took the off cuts of that and I made your you two corner tucks. You have one here. In one here, okay? Then I made two pockets. And as you can see, I went ahead and I punched the holes. Even though they won't do like this, they'll be adhered down. You still need to be able to run the uh, ring through those holes. So you have two of those, okay? And then with the rest of it, I thought you could make a belly band, okay? If you wanted to, or you could do a belly band this way, or you could do a side tuck this way. All right, three different options in that alone. Okay, now let's get to the fun stuff. I'll take, I'll go ahead and take this big packet first. All right, I'm going to send four page ruffles. All right four of those. Then I'm sending two packs of fabric clusters. And these fabric clusters have five in each. Okay. Then I think, let me see what's the count on these, eight Project Life cards. Yeah, eight Project Life cards. for tucks or pockets or whatever you want, okay? And then, of course, you know, Project Life are always on the back also, okay? Then I embossed some handmade paper. This is the handmade paper that comes in the paper packs at the Dollar Tree, but I embossed some. So you can see, you'll have that to play with. I'm also including two handmade book page pockets, as you can see right here, okay? And I sewed around these. These are double, like I glued the book pages together, so they, they are fairly sturdy, okay? I'm sending two fabric tags. These are not punched, and they don't have any ribbon in the tie at the top, okay? But I'll, I'll show you. I am including some, some ribbon, but I just didn't punch them. I didn't know if you'd want them like that. On the back, they are adhered to cardstock, 
So that is a good writing surface for you. I'm including two map or atlas tags. Again, they're uh, adhered to cardstock, very thick, very sturdy. I did no embellishing on this, but you are more than welcome, okay? I am including two pre-made journal tags. These are four by six, okay? Then I'm including, I think there's five of these. Let me see. Kind of got out of order a little bit. Uh, we'll just count them, I guess. We've got one, two, three, four, five. And then on the back, they're a different color. Uh, these, I think I said these were eight by, eight and a half by three. Eight and a half long, three inches wide. Okay. Then I included a chili dilly dip bag and a popcorn bag. Okay. And then just uh, some more. This is this is uh, cardstock, but it's paper paper weight. It's regular copy paper weight. Went ahead and included that. Okay. I'll get all these put back a little neater later. Okay. Oh, that's not all, folks. Hold on a second. Then I'm including this mini file folder. Okay. Two decorative envelopes. Look how fresh. Yeah. I just thought these were interesting. This one is very heavy. Very heavy. I'm including two postcards. Aren't they cool? Now, these are reproductions. These are not uh, vintage. I'm including a vintage Uno scorecard. This is pretty fragile, but I thought it was cool. A Yahtzee scorecard and a vintage recipe card. Okay. You just slip that right in there. Okay, along with these. Then on this side, I've got one CD case. I've got three, I'll call them playing cards. This is a, a Scrabble card actually, but so two playing cards. I need to update that on my list because again, I have a list of all these things. A mini index card, two Rolodex cards, one math flash card, one sight card, a cylinder tag, like an industrial type tag, a repair tag, an inspection record tag. Here's your recipe card. And here are two more. These didn't go in here, but I'll go ahead and send them. So you get a total of four postcards, a total of four postcards in that one. Um, again, my mistake, but my mistake, your, your lawn yop, as they say, lawn yop is Cajun for a little something extra. So, and then you get this mini little file folder that I made. Okay. We'll go on to the next pack. Uh, um, I sewed some glassine together, actually just wax paper. So, sewed two of those together. You're going to get a total of... Yes, 16 ticket stubs, one mini, I call them key envelopes, so mini envelope, so you can see in relation to two ticket stubs, it's very small, okay, a flash card, a math edition flash card, okay, and then some Tim Holtz ephemera, you're going to get one, two, three, four pieces of Tim Holtz ephemera. This is some pre-made ephemera. One, two, three pieces of floral or botanical ephemera. Oh, this is this is another piece of Tim Holtz ephemera. It's one of his uh, cards. I'm going to put that. So a total of five pieces of Tim Holtz ephemera. And then these are actually some... Um, I use them to make tags. You can see they have perforated edges. You're going to get three of these, and they're already foxed around the edges. 
So you can uh, you can make pockets with them, but I'm, I'll make tags with mine. And then two paint cards. These are the interesting ones. You can see they have the cutouts on them. Yeah. So you get that. Oh, and we're not we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Hold on. Let me put this to the side over here. Okay. And then here, I'm going to throw up a picture because I went ahead. I sewed this with, before I thought about it, before I thought I was going to show it to you. This is all the trim. I think you get five trims. And I'll, uh, I'll measure them and do the measurements on that. But I'll, I'll throw up the picture right here so you can see that. This is the um, what I call the hardware pack. Okay. I'm going to take it all out and show you. So it's kind of easier just to show you. This is a piece of handmade ephemera that I made. It's uh, hung from a gourd pin, and you have a tag with a journaling space, a paper cluster, and then a little collage on the back of this. Okay? I think you're going to get five or six whale's tails. Let me see how many whale's tails we got. Uh, ten. Ten whale's tails. All a variety of colors. But it's they're all card stock, so they're pretty thick. You're gonna get two yo-yos, one mini and one regular size. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and dump these so you can see. I'm gonna give you two pieces of junk journal jewelry. Okay. You're gonna get two of these if I can find them. <laughs> Well, I don't see them, but I'll make sure that you have two of these. Those are the the many, many, many paper clips. Like, they're too tiny. They're kind of hard to work with, but they're just so cute. So, I'll make sure you have two of those. You're going to get one large gold paper clip and one small paper clip. It's not a mini. It's just a regular size. Okay. Then, you're going to get a variety of of gourd pins, all different colors, silver, orange, brass, gold, black is in here. You're gonna get all those, okay. You're gonna get two unique keys, okay. You're gonna get two owl clips, that's what I call them, owl clips. And then you're gonna get Watch, several buttons. Three shank buttons. I'll sh pull the shank buttons out. This is a shank, and this is a shank. And the rest are just flat backs. But those three are shank buttons. And then you're going to get one of these key rings. Okay. And that's pretty much it. But you get everything that you need except for... Something to cut with, scissors, straight, um, um, an X-Acto knife. No X-Acto knife comes with it. Um, you'll need some kind of adhesive if you want to play in your journal. Um, glue stick, art glitter glue, Fabri-Tac. There's several out there on the market. Um, you can use, you know, I didn't include any washi tape if you wanted washi tape. Those are fairly inexpensive. But for somebody who is just looking to just try this, let me try it. Let me, you know, I've got everything I need right here. Um, I, 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 think I've, I think I've given you a really good base to start with. I, I, um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you know of somebody that may be interested in it, please give them the link below. I'm going to link where you can find the product and the price of the product will be at that listing. Uh, again, I appreciate you guys so much. This has been this has been so much fun to put together and to share knowing that somebody like like I was a year ago 
may look at this and get as much enjoyment as I have putting uh, journals together this past year and learning about junk journaling. Thank you all again so much. And remember what I always say. I hope that whatever it is you get to do today or in the next few days, it is at least as much fun as I've had sharing all this with you guys. We'll chat soon. Bye.